All right, let's do this. <laughs> sitting in a very hot car <laughs> getting the phone ready ah uh, it's too funny alrighty so it's Juneteenth Day four before my affiliate anniversary, and uh, I am I'm ready. I'm not ready. I. It's just kind of funny because. Um, it really is, it really is just going to be uh, a turn, turn twitch on. However the best. Hope that 48 hours goes by without too much of a hitch. or unfortunate for me. Um, not going to have to use the uh, um, IOIO, it's off to work I go. Um, and I'm going to probably be around a lot. So I don't know how much I'm going to um, actually, actually stream. Maybe it went a lot. But I'm designing it so that it runs without me.
true if I was making 50000 a year on them. And they made $50,000 off of me. They wouldn't care. They don't care. The truth of the matter is, is they, they, I know they don't care. They don't even care about, like, I always think, oh, they care about the money. No, they don't care about the money. They just know they can take it. They can take a nickel off of me. They'll take it.
see where the future was headed. They thought the future was heading in a different direction. And I am definitely guilty of that. You know, games that I played when in the early you know, online games, right? they weren't even early online games, they were just computer games. Games that I played on the computer back in the day.
commission and you're throwing your commission on up to do a stream and all they did was just basically like hang out with people while they they drew and my god that was like magic to me <laughs> literal magic
can't do it poorly. I can't just, you know, do it and, you know, film it and forget it. Two weeks till Halloween to get this done and right before um, on October 30th I got it done just in time for Halloween. I met the two week deadline to do seven um, characters all trick-or-treating costumes and I was damn proud of myself. I believe the person on the person paid the person on Fiverr for the Halloween thing. I believe he paid like 200 200 bucks for the commission. person very dear to me um, did fan art out of nowhere um, and I adore I still adore them and that person did fan art of uh, themselves as me or me dressed as them I couldn't I, it's hard to describe they did. And that's when I made the first cue. And I think it came out incredible. Um, still then, I was thinking that I was going to be building up to commissions. Um, somebody out of the blue also asked me to uh, make their avatar and then I had to start learning how to do avatars and everything like that and you know so here I have this doodle that I'm using as my avatar I mean it still was a doodle um, you know pen marks and all Six and 
stuff like that and movement in the faces. You can actually control how much. So you can use bone structure. And, oh, it was like I was enamored by it. And that's when I was creating the platypus. So while I was creating the platypus, somebody else commissioned me to do their avatar. And I started drawing it. This is like all oh, bing, 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 bing. Um, I did the Christmas card where I put everybody as chibi and in onesies, and I was making this whole little, making, turning everybody into little cute little chibis and, and do this stuff in onesies. And the person that I was doing their avatar for hated the chibi that I made it. I have now eight hours of work that I put into um, their avatar already and most of it was me learning how to do things so it wasn't like oh I was wasted but I have eight hours of work that I did this and they hated the chibi so I went and had to like basically change the chibi to meet their meet their needs and then the, they really what I think what irked me the most was the fact that they said how open I am to the changes. And I said, going, this doesn't matter. You're not paying me for this cheapy. This is a labor of love. I want to get this card out. I don't want to spend, I don't want to spend um, and 20 hours on creating your chibi when I should be spending that 20 hours on creating your avatar. And they got kind of upset with me. And I was like going, I have no deadlines. And so I basically backburnered it and I'd rather do my learning the other way. That's when the cues started happening. I just started turning everybody into cues. happened then to I, I was literally like in the middle of doing everything all at once um, yeah, that's from that's from the Halloween card till um, almost Christmas so the Christmas card was done by November actually Christmas card was done before the end of November, I should say, before December. Um, I was working on potteries. Um, I was making those like crazy. And, um, I had to, because I was going to be using the queue as my emojis, and literally, the queue was going to just turn into a head. Maybe little arms and partly and partial body and stuff like that. Um, I wanted to keep the t-shirt contest in, uh, concept in, so it literally was going to be t-shirt down. Those were going to be all my emo. Was not going to follow my model. They were supposed to look like actual emojis with the horns or ears or whatever you want to call the things that are sticking on the sides of Q's head. That's the reason why Q is yellow. Um, it's a nice con contrast to uh, Purple, which is purple, is actually my favorite color. And Thank you. 
purple is my purple is my actual favorite color, and so that, that was gonna be fine. And then of course the suspension happened, and why I fucking hate Twitch, and why I will always hate Twitch, and um, they never gave me a real reason why um, they did it. Um, I had somebody complain about me. Um, I don't. I still to this day I thought this person was my friend. Um, don't know why they did it. Um, they did not like um, the things that I was doing uh, online. Um, the comment that I made. Um, I, I, I can see how it was to be construed as wrong, but it's not. I, I, you know, it's not going to change my mind. You know, you're not going to like, you know, force me to, to do this. Um, but what I said in one of my first streams as a um, Twitch user is that I said that I was not an ally. I'm not an ally of the LGBTQ community. I'm not an ally of the Black Lives Matter movement. I'm not an ally because. The thing about being an ally means that we don't align in our thinking. Um, we are going against a mutual, you know, bad or mutual wrongness. And I was saying that I was more your brother. I'm more, I am with you all the way with no hesitation. And though I might disagree with the things that you say, and I can, I should feel, I should have the freedom to basically, you know, disagree with um, the way people are doing things, especially when people are doing things that are bullying and stuff like that, because bullying is really where I freaking draw the line. I'm going to be my own entity. And I will not blindly give my loyalty to anything. Not the Democratic Party. Uh, and not this. I, I, it's one of the reasons why I think I can't be hypnotized. Because I do not, I do not give up my freedom of choice so easily. And I'm not swayed um, by emotion or um, even logic in any way, shape, or form. I am who I am. Um, and people have to like, you know, it takes a lot, and even after freaking people convince me otherwise, and my entire freaking way of thinking changes, um, I have to do that work. Nothing is done for me. I do not make it easy. I, I do not take the easy route. And that's what I was trying to say. And they took offense to it because, you know, I had this concept of allies um, that was wrong to them. And attacking me um, means that I'm probably not your ally. You know, shitting on me um, taking away my ability to earn money. And so Christmas Day, the 25th of December, when I was supposed to be affiliate, I was suspended. I was suspended on Christmas Eve. On the sixth day, I was suspended. And I was suspended for a week. And then the devastation happened. A lot of people come through the, the devastation of suspension, um, you know, completely full circle. But, and they come out better than then they went in. Um, I didn't. But I was nothing. It made, it still to this day makes no sense to me. And the person who reported me, I, you know, I don't really have, I didn't really have any contact with them. They could still be streaming, but I have not heard hide nor hair of them since. 
they are long gone and even the people who I was connected to and very close to and had a really good relationship with most of them are gone and they didn't have anything to do with this or at least I don't think they had anything to do Is what it is. All right, I gotta go to work. Um, as always, I hope you guys watch the stream, at least the beginning of it or somewhere in the middle of it, and come in and say hi, and we have a good time. Um, I'm going to definitely be checking in. I'm going to be definitely um, following the chat. I'm going to do something very similar to what I did for my birthday a couple years ago. We're going to have fun. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Um, it's not going to be the traditional stream. It's not going to be this. But it's going to be 48 hours. Uh, and hopefully it all holds together. It is not going to get transferred. Um, so it's going to be run time. Uh, and sit on Twitch for the six days. And then after the six days it's going to go whoosh, out. Like most of the other stuff. I have a lot of things in there that I, because I edited or something like that um, did to them. It's been keeping them. And I, I think I just need to delete them. And keep the, uh, um, the clips. Keep the clips. The good clips. I need to make clips. Clips, clips, clips. But as always, um, cool beans in the comments below. And if you don't know what, that's if you don't know what to write. But if you want to ask me a question, want to talk about something, uh, I hope you see me in the. I hope you make comments in the uh, in the live stream. But you guys are definitely welcome to make comments here. I mean, that's what YouTube's all about. Um, and I hope you like it. I hope you. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you watch other videos. I promoted on Twitter um, a Black Lives Matter um, parody of Blackbird um, by the Beatles um, because it's Juneteenth. And you know, that's exactly how I feel about freedom. Their freedom means as much to me as my own personal freedom. It's not freedom for one, it's freedom for all. All right? So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a fantastic time doing it. And I, I hope you're making your own dreams come true. And if you are, I would love to hear about it. It'll give me hope. All right? As always, take care.